Constructing a redox equation using oxidation numbers requires a carefully planned sequence of steps to avoid making mistakes. Firstly, we simply write an unbalanced equation using the formulae of the substances we know about from the question. The next step is to identify which species have been oxidised and which have been reduced by looking for changes in oxidation number. Remember that every atom has an oxidation number, so it helps to write a number for each atom. I'm not going into the rules for assigning oxidation numbers here, but make sure you practice until you can do these right consistently. Here we see that iodine has been oxidised from minus 1 to 0, and sulphur has been reduced from plus 6 to minus 2. Now we balance the equation, but just for the species that have been oxidised and reduced, we can ignore balancing anything else for now. Two iodine atoms on the right means we need a 2 in front of the HI, and the sulphurs are balanced, one on each side. Next we need to work out the total increase in oxidation numbers, in this case, minus 1 and minus 1 to 0 and 0. So a total increase of 2. And the total decrease in oxidation numbers, in this case plus 6 to minus 2, so a decrease of 8. In the final balanced equation, the total increase in oxidation numbers must be equal to the total decrease in oxidation numbers. This is because in a redox reaction electrons are being transferred from the species being oxidised to the species being reduced. This means in this case we have to multiply the, the oxidation part of the equation by times 4. Now the equation is balanced for species being oxidised and reduced, we need to finish off the balancing for anything we haven't accounted for yet. This is often oxygen, which we remove by turning it into water molecules, adding H plus ions to the opposite side if necessary to balance the equation overall. In this example we have four oxygens on the left side, so we'll add four water molecules on the right side as each contains one oxygen atom. The hydrogens we need to make these water molecules are already there, unbalanced on the left side so we don't need to add any H+. All we need now is a final check that everything is balanced.